Now we're back to Inkscape. Someone asked me if I could create or if I had a video about creating a ruler in Inkscape. I don't know what you specifically needed, so I'm going to make a general video and if it doesn't fit what you need, you have to specify that a little bit in the comments. But I would start using the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle. It's important that we focus on the width to height ratio. So the unit doesn't really matter. I use millimeters anyway. And then I set the width to one and the height to let's say 25. You drag that to the left, then I press Ctrl D and I hold Ctrl while I drag the copy to the right. I select them both. They're both rectangles. I need a path, so I go to path, object to path, and now we have two path elements. Afterwards, we can go to extensions, generate from path, and use interpolate between paths. It's a little bit tricky because it copies the original as well. So the two elements that we've got selected. In our case, we need 29. And this will give us the amount of strokes that we need for our ruler. Usually rulers have 30 millimeters, at least in a metric system. If you want to have 50, then make it 49. And if you want to have 30, make it 29. Keep the default for the rest and click on apply. And now we have all the strokes that we need. It's a group. So we'll first have to select it and then go to object and ungroup. And now you want to left click and select every fifth stroke. Hold shift while you do. This is going to add strokes to your selection and not deselect the previous ones. And now I just drag the stroke a little bit down. And if I've counted correctly, we now have every fifth stroke a little bit longer. Use the type tool, the text tool, and then add the numbers. By default, you're going to have these helping guideline indicators, and then you can find the center position of the stroke. I always press Ctrl D to copy it, and I hold Ctrl when I drag it to the right. I press the space bar to move around in the image. Once I've got that done, I use T for the text tool and then I change these numbers and I go from 0 to 30 in 5 step increments. And that's usually what you need. Keep in mind that when you now resize that, you're going to resize the numbers as well. So you can only hold control at this point to not skew with the font. If you need it a little bit thicker, thinner, more stretched, more condensed, whatever you need, then do that before adding the numbers. Finally, you may want to give it a background. Just use a rectangle for that. Put it to the bottom. And you may want to round the corners, make sure the rectangle tool is active. And then you have this Rx and Ry value up here. Let me set that to maybe two. I do it for each. And this is usually what you need. As I've said, if you needed something specific, then be a little bit more specific in your comments and I'll check that out. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.